Hey, welcome back. I'm Sean Barr, and at Looking Point, we help IT organizations make decisions around collaboration, security, and networking. Today, we're going to be talking about the Cisco Desk Camera 1080p. It's this guy right here. Let's go! All right, we're back and we are talking about the Cisco Desk Camera 1080p. Now this is the 1080p version of the 4K version. So there's two versions. There's this one, the new one, which is 1080p and the 4K. We're talking about the 1080p version. So the nice thing about this camera is it does mount nicely on a laptop or on a monitor uh, of your choice. It's got a tiltable action here. It's got a place for the USB-C port, and it also has a nice little screw mount. So if you want to put it on a tripod and mount it up, you could do that. And then you'll notice it also has this little uh, vanity cover or, or whatever you would like to do. Uh, if you'd like to cover up that camera, you can do that. And when you do that, you're not going to get any content. So uh, let's talk a little bit about how you'd plug it in. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You would have a USB-C in my case. There's also a cable, a USB-C to USB cable. And it's really quite tangled here, um, which makes it exciting. So we'll go ahead and plug this USB-C cable in. And then what I'm gonna do is place it on my computer over here. And once I get it in place, I'm going to connect it to the USB-C port over here. All right. And so now um, it is connected and it is recognizing the camera. And now that it's recognizing the camera here, you can see in my screen here on the right, you'll see it's taken a picture of the desk camera. And if I flip off the display, it recognizes that the camera display is closed. If I open it up, it sees it there. Now, there's a number of things that you'll notice. One is update. So I could start a firmware update. I'm going to go ahead and do that now so you can just see it. We'll speed it up so you don't have to wait the full time of it up the update, but it's going and, and doing the upgrade now. So we're going to wait for that. While it's upgrading, I'm going to pull my camera, laptop, and display here so you can see how it's mounted up. And I got this like nice, well, let me do that better. You can see how I've got a nice little tilt action here as needed. So if I move my display up and down, you know, I could tilt it as needed based on where I'm at in the frame. And uh, we'll go ahead and continue to let this camera update. Um, and while it's updating, we'll talk a little bit about the management software. Now there is some software that Cisco provides so that if you're registered to WebEx Control Hub, it will also help you manage the firmware of all these cameras. And another nice thing that, that it comes with these cameras is it's got some software to control some of the behavior of the camera itself. Oh, it looks like it's done upgrading. So if I go into camera settings, you'll see this is the Cisco Desk Camera 1080p software, which you can get online at Cisco. We'll put the link uh, up here somewhere. And down in the description, you can download the software and get your camera going and you'd have this, this software that we're talking about here. So if we go to camera settings, you will see that there are some preset options here. There's field of view. So as you can see, if I change it to field of view 65, it's going to really crop in on me. If I change it to 70, it pulls it out a little bit more. And 83 is obviously going to be the widest view. Um, in addition to that, I've got some resolution. It's at the, the 1920 by 1080. You can see that there's multiple resolution options there if you, if you chose to maybe down res uh, the, the, the video. And then you'll also notice that the frame rate, 15 frames per second or 30 frames per second. Now, 30 frames per second is pretty standard in the industry for video recording. It's what our eyes are used to seeing on, on videos, things like that. So we'll leave that alone at, at 30 frames a second. In addition to that, we've got some image settings, which uh, you'll see some presets here around natural, and then there's vibrant and custom. And so if I flip it to, to vibrant, it kind of changes my look here. Natural would be my preferred way to look, just natural kind of kind of view. Uh, if I look down below here, we've got autofocus. Now this is uh, so you can manually pull focus, and if things were coming in and out of frame, you could just set it and so it won't adjust. Now you can see a little bit, I'm, I'm a little bit blurry. Eh, it's doing a pretty good job. Maybe I'm a little blurry out here. 
Um, but, but if you're using this as a desk camera, you're gonna, gonna wanna keep autofocus on. Um, auto white balance, this is also for uh, you know the white balance of the camera, and if we turn it off, it's gonna have the natural white balance of the room. If you're in front of like maybe a bright window or you have a lot of light, it may not be good to disable that unless you wanna manually tune these settings, which as you can see here, I can manually tune my white balance based on my room settings uh, or, or how the, the light comes into the room, that kind of thing. Brightness, again, that's, that's gonna allow you to blow it out or, or pull it in. Um, and then sharpness is just kind of how much smoothing you would want um, on your, your video subject. So you've got all of those tuning options on the webcam here. And then any flicker is related to the lighting. So sometimes light uh, LED lights will have a certain hertz or frequency that they operate in, and you'll get this flicker or refresh that you may need to adjust this. And that's just gonna be based on if you have an issue or not. Now, I don't know if you can actually, uh, if I turn off any flicker, and I, yeah, it looks like I just got two options, 50 or 60 hertz, and then any auto any flicker is just on by default. So if I walk into a room that maybe has lights operating in that frequency range, it's gonna adjust for me. You probably wanna leave it on auto. Um, microphone settings, this is uh, obviously, it's, it's taken in some uh, audio from me talking. It has the built-in microphone, which is great. Um, it's a high definition microphone. Appearance, um, again, this is just gonna be like settings in the app. Hey, I can make it look light or dark, and obviously it may be a little bit different based on your OS. I'm using a Mac for this video. If you're running a Windows system, your experience may be a little different. Um, so when we talk about updates, we kind of did an update, so you know what that looks like. Support, uh, you got the help center and you can contact and see some logs. Camera info, this is gonna show what the actual camera is. It gives you the serial number, it gives you the USB version and all the firmware associated with it and that type of thing. This is really just about the software when I click on about us, or not about us, just about the software. It shows the version of the software. So at a high level, that is the camera software. So the next step is we're gonna jump into a WebEx just so you can kind of see what this camera looks like and how it behaves. All right, so now that we've got the camera upgraded, we went through the settings and the application around the desk cam. Let's jump into a WebEx and see how it performs. So I'm going to join a meeting here. And when I join in, I'm gonna see my co-host here. Hello, Bridget. All right. so. As you can see, I'm on the uh, desk camera, and obviously I've muted because she doesn't need to hear what I'm saying to all of you. Um, and you can see if I turn off the display, it's gonna just cancel my video signal so she doesn't see me. And then if I open it up, there's my video. And actually, the one thing that I love about the desk camera is the clarity of it. And I do think that there is some great cameras built into laptops today, however, just the size of it and the what you need to get into this around the microphone and the placement of the microphone and just how much light this sensor can let in versus what can fit in a thin display. I mean, you're just gonna get a better quality camera and a better quality image. And so with everybody being remote today or a lot of people being remote today and more and more video conferences, I think you wanna have that high quality experience with a camera like this. Now, this camera won't be available for ordering until the end of May, which will be this month, and it'll actually start shipping around the June timeframe of 2022. So if you wanna get your hands on a desk cam, feel free to reach out to us or your friendly Cisco partner. If I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I wanna know more, make sure you leave a comment, make sure you like and subscribe so you get all of our content as we release it, and we will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. See you later.